Welcome to my studio. I'm Will Cotton, and today we're going to be making a candy crown. So people expect, because I'm a painter, that all my materials are going to be oil paint and turpentine, those sorts of things. But in fact, this process I go through to actually make the painting involves so many other materials, including uh, lots of candy. So the first thing I do when I start the crown is build a structure for it. So in this case, we've got these gold foil cardstock and fold those to make little triangles. This is gonna become the basis of the crown that we can stick the candy to. So there was a time when I was making a painting and I wanted to paint a person into it. I wanted the person to be in this Candyland setting. And it struck me that she probably wouldn't be wearing regular street clothes like I am here. It'd probably be something special. So in wanting to make jewelry and clothing and other kinds of adornment, I started finding ways to do it with real sweets and real materials associated with sweets, like sweets wrappers, cupcake papers, and of course, all the candies. I'm gonna put this next one so that the, um, the little tip of the triangle on the inside is right about at the center of this one. Now from here, I take a stapler. I'm gonna put a staple right there, like that, in the middle. And I'm gonna go ahead and keep going to finish out the rest of the structure so, one of the first crowns I made was actually for Katy Perry. She uh, had gotten interested in my paintings and wanted to do something with me, and she had this album coming out soon called Teenage Dream, and she wanted me to do something for the cover. I wound up making a painting of her, and for the cover, she's essentially naked on a cotton candy cloud, but for the interior of the album, I did these two scenes of her in a candy crown, sitting there like she's a candy queen in Candyland. So candy came into my work at first as a metaphor for all things that we desire because it doesn't really exist for any reason besides pleasure. And so it's that kind of item that I like because it's, it's a pure pleasure vehicle. When you get the crown to a point where it's feeling like it might fit around your head, you can take this corner and stick that into the end and um, see how that's going. Now it fits on my head. I don't like to plan the whole thing in advance. Um, I have found this funny thing, which is that as I'm putting together any composition of colors, I tend to look for symmetry. Yet, uh, symmetry is not always the most beautiful way to do it. It can look really mechanical. So I just start with one thing that's gonna kind of kick it off and I'm gonna go from there and just let myself react to what's already on the crown. In this case, I'm gonna put this lollipop, this yellow one, right in the center. So I open up the, uh, the triangle bits a little bit like that. And I'm gonna put some hot glue right on the bottom of this. Whoa. and stick it right in there, squeeze it together. And there's my first candy element. I'm feeling primary colors today. So we got a red, blue, yellow thing. Now you find you can stick things like lollipops anywhere within this opening in the crown. So I'd love to think about who the crown is going to go on. In fact, it's really critical before I start making it. I can say that this one is for me. I haven't had one myself in a while and I'd like it just for you know special occasions or dinner parties. Now I like this blue one. This is gonna go in next. So when I first started making things for people to wear in my paintings, I did so in part because I'd found that if I, if I invent them, I tend to make things very general uh, and I can't actually imagine the weird stuff that goes on, but when I do this, it's uh, something I can look at while I'm making the painting and it gets really specific and really interesting and most often really unexpected. So once I get a few things on the crown like this, I'll typically start going to the mirror. It's surprising sometimes. So I'm gonna check this one out. <clears throat> I 
That's great. I uh, love it already. So there's another step I'm gonna do that I might do before I put the lollipops on or after. It's, it's up to you guys. But I've got these gold foil cupcake papers. It also feel very royal and very crown-like to me. I'm gonna just fold one of those in half and then I'm gonna put that right there and I'm gonna glue it in place. Just a spot of glue, it doesn't have to be too crazy. My goal with these paintings is really to make them as real as possible. That's part of the idea, is that to actually paint them in a style that refers to art history and uh, to the history of portraiture, of kings, and dukes, and so on. And in those portraits, it was often the little signifiers of wealth and uh, things that they wanted people to know about themselves, usually wealth. So what I've tried to do in this is translate the whole status question into things that you wouldn't normally associate with um, wealth, but that we can imagine in this place where everything's made of candy, you know, maybe a red gumdrop is the most sought after prized item, and maybe it's not found in abundance. So I'm gonna stick some other lollipops in here now. Maybe a pink one. I'm gonna do a pink one over here to keep mixing up the colors. Let's get some jewels on there. As a kid, I always liked building things. I think that's where this comes out of. Um, a lot of people are surprised that I make everything in the studio before I paint pictures of it. And uh, I think it's something I'm comfortable doing because when I was a kid, I always made things. And uh, my grandfather had a workshop in the basement and I, I spent a lot of time down there just like learning how to use tools. Looking at my color scheme, I'm gonna to try to group some colors together now. Like I'm gonna put another green with that green, maybe up there. In color theory, there's this thing called analogous colors uh, that tend to look nice together. Things like red to purple to green, you know, they're all next to each other on the color wheel. Even more than that, like a, a bunch of different greens, which uh, I'm gonna try making a little grouping of just green things. So they can be any shape now, but I want them to be green. That's perfect. Th this crown would be complicated to paint, but very worthwhile. To paint all that little sugar texture is, um, it takes some real doing. The way I always know when a thing is finished, and this is true for crowns or paintings, is that I'll put something on and it'll just be too much. And then I'll take it off. And then it's finished. I have to go just, just over the edge. Mmm, this is good. Asymmetry. Mmm, I love that. Most of what goes on in the studio, especially the costumes and headpieces, it's stuff that no one ever sees. And, and uh, in the case of these, like a tremendous amount of hours and work goes into making these things. And I thought it's something that um, might be fun for people. You know, I hope it will be. It's fun for me. I'm, I, <laughs> I could keep going on this thing. I think we might have it. I'm gonna try this on and uh, see if it's missing anything else. I think this is finished and ready to wear for my dinner party tonight. <laughs>